Hi guys. <laughs> it's not actually quite as cold as that, but it's getting on the way down. Uh, this may be a quickie if I'm lucky, <laughs> or if you're lucky. <laughs> um, one more small job I'm trying to get done. Very, very simple. Not many operations involved. Just to make a dial indicator holder to go in the tool post. All right, dead simple. So we just got to uh, uh, put a 3 8 through there, something through there, <laughs> I don't know what, <laughs> 1024 or something. Um, and then, um, if you can see it, slitting saw on there to get a pinch bolt. All right, that's all there is to it. So I'll just get on with that and cover really what three operations. It's not a lot, is it? <laughs> all right, here we go. Just putting a tapping drill down through both of these. It'll act as a pilot for this one. Do a quick rethink here. Well, there's the first bozo moment <laughs> because I'm trying to do this quickly. <coughs> I hadn't thought it through properly, and um, of course, my saw cut doesn't want to be here, it wants to be this side so that it'll uh, pinch together. So, this hole is redundant. <laughs> And we'll do one from here when we flip it round. But whilst I'm here, I'll get the 3 8 hole done. Get that out of the way. Right. Just as well I stopped when I did. A bit annoying to have a screw hole that I don't need, but there am I, There we are, it doesn't matter. Let's put the uh, 3 8 drill in. Alright. I keep saying that, don't I? Beginning of every clip. Right. <laughs> Right, let's move this around and set up for the pinch bolt in the right damn place. <laughs> Having got this oriented correctly now, so we get a pinch. I meant to mention, by the way, this is a piece of 5 eighths by half. The sides have been cleaned up on the belt sander. Both ends have been vertical milled just to tidy them up. There's no real pretense here at Rolls-Royce. As I so often say, it's functional. Right, let's put in a clearance drill for the uh, for one half of that okay we can use the quill stop here oh let's get back to where I meant to be convenient. 
And I'm going to try and put in a counter bore, I think, if I can find the size to suit. Well, I abandoned using a regular counter bore. Uh, because I haven't got enough depth for the pilot and the cut. So I'm just using a 516 mm It's a carbide, but it's not a very good one. I think it'll do. Using the uh, quill stop again there. Let's see how it looks. Yes, that's fine. Good. Right now, uh, I'll put a thread on that for the 1024, and then we'll set up and do a saw cut. Well, I'll have to use this uh, rather coarse tooth, the uh, three inch, yeah, three inch. I must get one with a slightly finer blade sometime. I don't really need this thick of a cut, sixteenth, but uh, take it easy, take two passes. I won't bore you with all of it. That's enough, I'll get on with it. Try and get that finished. Well there we are. I think <laughs> I think that'll count as a quickie. It's uh, what I call a down and dirty job. <coughs> Excuse me. I've uh, basically it's finished. I mean it's not overly pretty. And the saw cut is not quite on centre. I didn't do an edge find and proper setup. It was Mark One eyeball, and it wasn't quite 100%. So I'll put that through and do up the pinch. And there we are, ready to go in the tool post. And although the cross slide is back quite a long way, it'll do the job for most smaller material. Yeah, that's all right. I might actually make one to go on the normal cutting side of the tool post and uh, put an angle on it, which will bring it back a bit. But anyway, that'll work for now. So say, down and dirty. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this won't be too long a video. Just a sort of rather routine, simple job. Okay, bye for now, guys.